everybody, I'm Madison from Sleepopolis, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the original NOLA mattress. To help you decide if this all foam bed in a box is the right mattress for you, I'm gonna put it through some tests, tell you which sleepers I recommend it to, and take a look at the materials it's made with. If at any point you have a question I don't cover, let me know in the comments below. And you can also check out a more detailed written review of this bed by Googling Sleepopolis NOLA mattress review. And you can head to the NOLA website by clicking the link also in the description below. So let's jump into the NOLA mattress review. I'm gonna start out by talking about how the NOLA feels. Keep in mind that feel is subjective. So someone heavier or lighter than me might experience a mattress differently than I do. So when I sat down on this mattress, I experienced it as definitely medium firm, about a 6.5 out of 10 on the mattress firmness scale. But I will say I personally tend to find memory foam and similar materials like Nola's air foam to feel a little bit firmer than the average person. So if you maybe weigh a little bit more than me or tend to experience memory foam as feeling soft, you would probably say the Nola falls at about a six out of 10 on the firmness scale. And then laying down on this mattress, when I laid on my back, I felt super comfortable. I really felt that air foam contouring into the curve of my lower back to give me a really nice balance of support and pressure relief. On the other hand, on my stomach, I do think this mattress was a bit too soft to support me. I definitely felt my hips sinking into that mattress a little bit, which is not a good sign for stomach sleepers because it can lead to some back pain. And then on my side, I generally felt pretty comfortable, felt a lot of body contouring and pressure relief. And around my shoulders, the mattress felt really soft and really comfortable. But I will say around my hips, I did feel a little bit of pressure build up there. So if you have particularly bony hips like I do, you might not get what you're looking for on this NOLA. I also ran a few tests to give you a more objective view of what this mattress might feel like to you. First up is my pressure map test. So I put a pressure map down on the mattress and laid down in a few positions and you're gonna see that map range from blue and green in low pressure areas to red and yellow in higher pressure areas. So let's take a look at my results. As you can see on my back, that map is all blue. And again, I felt super comfortable on this NOLA on my back. It's the perfect amount of body contouring for this sleeping position. Definitely think if you struggle with any kind of back pain, the NOLA could be a really nice solution for you. So moving on to my side, you will see a little bit of yellow on this map, especially around my hips. I do have very bony hips, but I also definitely felt some pressure buildup in that area. So if you're someone like me who maybe has knobbier joints, I think potentially you might wanna find a mattress that's a little bit more plush than this NOLA, the NOLA Signature is in their mattress line and does offer a little bit more body contouring and sinkage. So you might wanna consider that bed. On the other hand, if you're a side sleeper who tends to feel comfortable with a more medium firm feel, I think you're really gonna be pretty comfortable on this NOLA. And moving on to my stomach, you can see that map is all blue, but it does not tell the whole story. I definitely felt my hips sinking into the comfort layer of this NOLA, felt a little bit of bowing at my back and stomach sleepers really need to keep their spines in a nice straight line to avoid back pain. So I don't think this mattress is gonna be the best fit for those folks. Next up is my bounce test. This is where I check to see how much mobility a mattress provides. Are you gonna feel stuck in the mattress when you're starting to roll around and change positions at night? So as you can see, I bounced my steel ball down onto the mattress to test out the bounce. This mattress was not super bouncy as expected from an all foam mattress like this. But I'll say I didn't have a super hard time switching positions on this bed. If you want something really responsive, you're a combination sleeper and mobility is super important to you. The NOLA is probably not what you're looking for, but if you're a back and side combination sleeper who doesn't mind a little bit of hug, which I think can be nice for combination sleepers who spend some time on their side, you might be pretty happy on this NOLA. Next up is the motion transfer test. I used a seismometer to measure the motion transfer on the NOLA original. If you sleep with a partner or a pet, this is a measure of whether or not you're gonna feel disturbed by them when they roll around and change positions at night, or in the case of a dog, jump on and off the bed. 
So looking at these scores, you can see that the NOLA tamps down on any disturbance really quickly. So I would say it has pretty good motion isolation. I was happy with this score. Memory foam mattresses tend to have really pretty good motion isolation and NOLA does use a memory foam replacement. So that's not a big surprise here. And I will say if you're a member of a couple, who's a pretty light sleeper, you're easily disturbed by your partner, the NOLA might really take care of that problem for you. And it's also a pretty quiet mattress, not much squeaking or anything like that going on. So if you're a member of a couple, that could also be a pretty nice perk. And last up, we have my edge support test. This is a measure of whether or not you're gonna be able to sleep all the way on the edge of a bed and still feel supported. A mattress with great edge support feels a little bit bigger because you can spread out on the entire surface area. I'll say the edge support on the NOLA was not bad. It was not amazing either. I would say it was about average for a foam mattress. So I definitely did feel a little bit unstable laying on the edge of this bed. So if you're someone who really likes to sleep far to the side of their bed, the NOLA might not be the best choice for you. So we have peeled back the cover of this NOLA to give you a better look inside the mattress. I'll start off by talking about the cover. This is a really nice lightweight tensile cover. So it's wrinkle resistant, super absorbent and a really breathable fabric. Nice perk for hot sleepers there. And then below that is a comfort layer of NOLA's proprietary air foam. This foam is really similar to memory foam in that it has a slow response to pressure and will really contour to the curves of your body but it sleeps much cooler than traditional memory foam and is actually a little bit more durable. So those are really nice perks of this foam layer. And then below that, we're gonna have a transition layer of NOLA's high resilience foam. This is a really super responsive foam and it's gonna basically just ease the sleeper down into the base layer, which is an HD poly foam layer. Pretty common in most foam mattresses will provide some support and structure overall to the bed. And one thing to know about this NOLA is that all the foams in its construction are CertiPure US certified. That means that they're gonna be free from harmful chemicals, heavy metals, and things like formaldehyde. So you can sleep pretty easy on the NOLA knowing that there's nothing harmful in your bed. Before I wrap up, I wanna give you some of my personal pros and cons of the NOLA original. First up, some reasons I think this could be a really good mattress for you. If you're a back sleeper who likes body contouring, you're really gonna be happy on the NOLA. That was my favorite position to be on this mattress in and I really, really felt comfortable around my lower back especially. Next up, if you're a hot sleeper looking for a cooling mattress, NOLA's Airscape foam is really cooling, especially compared to traditional memory foam. So if you are in the market for a foam mattress, but you sleep a little bit hot, the NOLA Original is definitely one to consider. And then finally, if you're a couple who's looking for a bed with great motion isolation, the NOLA should be a really strong contender for you. I don't think you're gonna feel too disturbed by a restless partner on this mattress. And then I don't think this mattress is gonna be a perfect fit for everybody. So some reasons that it might not be a good fit for you. If you are a stomach sleeper, I don't think the NOLA is gonna provide you with the firm support you need to really keep your spine in a straight line. So I would opt for a firmer mattress, potentially something with inner springs in the build. And then in a similar vein, heavier sleepers are probably gonna need a mattress that's a little bit more supportive. Again, I would suggest these folks look for something that includes inner spring coils in the construction. And then finally, if you're looking for a super responsive on top of the bed feel, instead of a really pressure relieving hug-like feel, you're not gonna be too happy on the NOLA. You definitely get more sinkage than bounce on this mattress. So I wanna take a second here to answer some of the most frequently asked questions we get here at Sleepopolis about the NOLA mattress. First up, does the NOLA original need a box spring? No, you do not need a box spring with this bed. Any hard flat surface will work to support it. And you can also use a slatted bed frame, which is what I'm testing it out here on today. Next up, can you flip the NOLA? No, you cannot flip this bed. The NOLA original is built from the top down, but NOLA does offer a flippable mattress called the NOLA Signature, which you can learn more about by Googling Sleepopolis NOLA Signature Review. And next, how do you set up the NOLA? The NOLA is gonna arrive compressed in a box and the best way to set it up is to unbox it and then place the compressed mattress on or near your foundation or bed frame. And then you can remove the outer wrapping, just be careful not to cut the actual mattress. And then the NOLA is gonna actually expand on its own and you should allow a few hours for off-gassing before putting sheets on the new mattress. 
And next up, if you are interested in purchasing a NOLA, I want to give you some info on their company policies. First up, NOLA offers a 120 night sleep trial. NOLA does request you try this mattress for at least 30 days before making a return so you can break it in appropriately. Shipping on this NOLA was free and as I mentioned before, it will be delivered compressed in a box. And then finally, this mattress comes with a lifetime warranty, which is a really great perk. So that's it for my review of the NOLA original mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know in the comments below and check out the full written review of the NOLA by Googling Sleepopolis NOLA mattress review. And remember to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our giveaway announcements or sleep news. And of course, you can always head over to sleepopolis.com to meet any of your sleep needs.